Welcome to Bubbles Book Nook. I'm Bubbles, and today we're reading Jungle Drums by Grain Bass. You'll notice this book is huge. It's taking up almost my entire desk. My hands don't even take up a quarter of the page, and I have some big hands. That said, the artwork in this book is beautiful, and I hope you enjoy every page of it. There are some very unique names that I might get wrong. If you think I've said a name wrong, please feel free to leave in the comments how I should have said the name. Thank you. This is Najiri Madogo. Small, isn't he? He's the smallest warthog in Africa. These are the bigger warthogs. They teach Najiri about being so small, but that's only because they're jealous of the other animals who live across the river. With their stunning spots, striking stripes, impressive horns, and curly trunks, graceful necks, and gorgeous plumage. These guys are not exactly the prettiest animals you've ever seen, but we do have a little cute snail down here. <laughs> uh. Here are the other animals who lived across the river. Aren't they just gorgeous? Here we have a rhino, uh, a leopard, a giraffe. Pretty sure this is a, well, it's not a peacock, but I'm not quite sure what else this could be. Here, it's either an armadillo or an anteater. Maybe we'll find out later. He's a little hard to see when he's hiding in the bushes. But here we have an elephant and a stunning zebra with some eyeliner going on here. And in the corner, you might see a little dragonfly. Every year, the other animals hold a grand parade with prizes for the most beautiful. The warhawks don't even bother entering. Mud wrestling isn't on the program. Oh, that's unfortunate. Tired of being teased, Najiri heads across the river to play the other animals. They are arguing amongst themselves about who is the most beautiful. They turn and stare at Najiri. <laughs> No spots, laughs Chewy the leopard. No stripes, Winnie's Panda Milla the zebra. Look at those silly little horns, notes Kaifaru the rhino. He's even got a trunk, trumpets Tembo the elephant. Or a neck, scoffs Twigger the giraffe. Isn't he just the ugliest thing you've ever seen, crows the Deggy, the crested crane. And small, too. So this bird here is a crested crane. They all laughed out loud. They're being very rude to this poor little warthog. He just wanted to make some friends. Quite rude. Quite rude behavior. Najiri heads for home. He is not happy. On the way, he meets old Nyumbi, the wildebeest, the oldest and wisest animal in the jungle. I hate being so small, he tells her. Everyone teases me. Old Nayumbi gets out a little set of bongos. These are magic drums, she says. If you play them, they will give you whatever you wish for. Do you want them? Oh yes, cries Najiri. I do. He takes the drums and eager hooves. Old Nayumbi has a twinkle in her eye. Just remember, she says. Wishes can come true, but not always as you expect. And she gently fades into the bushes. Mm, so these might be like a monkey paw. Monkey paw is a very common trope in stories where you make a wish, but it doesn't turn out the way you want it. I hope this is going to work out well for Nyumbi. Excuse me for Jiri. Sounds of jungle drums throb through the night. It's like a monkey and all the other animals. Look at this python. They're all watching us. Faces little drums. But in the morning, despite all his wishing, little Najiri is still exactly the same. Then he hears a commotion in the jungle. The other animals have awoken to find their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage have all disappeared. And they are very upset about it. Oh no, they've lost their color? This is ridiculous. 
It's a, it's a crazy sight. Jerry can't believe it either. The Warhogs, meanwhile, have woken up with stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. They think they look just fabulous. Wow, they do. Here's Nigeri Madoga. They laugh as he trots up, small as ever, and oh so plain, but we are just like the other animals now. We're going to enter the Grand Parade and teach them a lesson in jungle style. See, gracious. They're still mean to him. After they got what they wanted to be pretty, they're still mean to Nigiri. That's terrible. <laughs> when the other animals learn of the jungle grapevine that the warhogs are going to enter the Grand Parade, they are horrified. Look at us, they cry in dismay. Those awful warhogs will win every prize. It will be a complete disaster. Then, they try making fake markings out of sticks and grass and colored mud, but it all washes off in the evening downpour. Look at this. This elephant's holding a telephone. You don't exactly see a telephone in the wild. That's quite silly. This poor leopard's trying to give himself spots with some mud. That's not going to work out. This poor, these poor, poor animals. Oh, and here you can see them. Getting clean in the rain, whether they like it or not. <laughs> the warthogs parade along the riverbank in their newfound finery. You stole our markings, yell the other animals. Give them back. They're not your markings, they're ours, snort the warthogs. They fell from the sky, and now we are the most beautiful animals in the jungle. They belong to us, growled the other animals. If you don't give them back before the grand parade... We will come and take them. Poor Najiri. What has he done? You know, they say poor Najiri hiding here in the corner, but he's not really doing anything. I, I don't know if I feel bad for Najiri. I feel, uh, well, I feel bad. He's getting bullied. Unfortunately. The wild African moon comes up and jungle drums beat out again. Across the savannah. Ooh, what do you think Najiri is wishing for now? What do you think will fix this? It's still dark as Najiri creeps over to where the other animals are sleeping. He breathes a sigh of relief to see stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. Then the animals stir and sit up. The markings are on the wrong animals! Oh no, that's a horse. That's not a giraffe. Is that the giraffe standing like the zebra? Oh no. The big horn on a leopard. This is all sorts of silly. It's the warthogs who have done this, cried the other animals. They've put a spell on us! They stomp off angrily across the river. I don't know. These are some cool looking animals, if you ask me. Meanwhile, the warhogs are in terrible state. What happened to my nose? What happened to my neck? How can I wool in the mud with all these feathers? I can't run with a great long trunk. I'll end up as someone's dinner for sure. The warhogs have become even more like the other animals they admire so much. They've put a spell on us! They stomp off angrily across the river. Oh no, they're both angry at each other. It's going to start a huge fight. I'm scared for everybody. This is... This is upsetting. What have you done to us? Demand the warthogs. What have you done to us? Demand the other animals. Everyone's shouting at once. Stop it, cries Nigeria Madogo, in a squeaky voice. It was me! All the animals stop and look at him in amazement. He tells them about the magical drums. I made a wish. Two wishes, in fact. Though they went wrong, I wanted you all to stop teasing me. But I didn't mean for you to start fighting. Why can't you all be happy the way you are? Because we look ridiculous, says everyone together, and we want to be the way we were. Well, says the jury thoughtfully, if you all be happy that way, I suppose I could try making one more wish. For a third time, the sound of jungle drums echoes 
the still night air. As the sun rises over the rim of the world, the warthogs and the other animals wake and look around with relief. They are all back to normal. But Najiri Madogo sighs. After all that trouble, he is still exactly the same. The smallest warthog in Africa. Aww. Something has changed, though. No one is teasing him anymore. The bigger warthogs and the other animals look at Najiri, then at each other, then they shrug. So what if he's the littlest? Someone has to be. Aww, that's so cute. That evening, the Grand Parade goes ahead as usual. The other animals who live across the river show off their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. The warthogs clap and cheer. Then the warthogs put on a mud wrestling display, including a very clear mud pyramid with a mud fountain and the other animals clap and cheer. Look at this beautiful pyramid. We've got a fountain going on. We've got some wrestling. All the animals have some uh, necklaces and other decorations on for their parade. What a beautiful, what a beautiful spot. Then Najiri does a drum solo. He is very careful not to wish for anything, just in case. And everyone claps and cheer. And the night is a roaring success. The end. Thank you for reading with me today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you know when I read you a story next. If you have an idea for a book you'd like me to read next, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Good night.